Hi there, and I'm now going to do a tutorial on how to share screen notes or look at your screen notes whilst sharing um, Google Slides. I've got a video up on uh, my YouTube channel at the moment about um, looking at notes or PowerPoint notes whilst on a single screen, um, and that has had an unprecedented response. Um, as far as my little channel is concerned. And one of the questions that's come up a couple of times is about Google Slides, and it's, it, it's taken me a while to figure it out. And I've got a solution. It is an imperfect solution, but there is a solution to actually being able to present um, uh, Google Slides on a single screen and have your notes up at the same time. What you will see throughout the recording is hopefully a, a reasonably well synced version of a meeting. So I've got my phone um, logged into this particular meeting. Um, so what you will see is what's happening on my screen, what I'm doing as the host, and also what's being seen on the uh, on the person who's attending's screen as well. Like I said, it is a little bit convoluted. It's nowhere near as straightforward as the PowerPoint one, um, but we'll get into it and, and you can see how it works. So a um, couple of things to think about first. First and foremost, what we want to do uh, let's just get rid of that. Um, here is my um, my slide. Ideally, you want to hide your bookmarks bar. This is just going to be for a pu purely aesthetic reason. Uh, and you might not want to see what uh, people bookmark. So go over here and go to bookmarks and just go hide bookmark bar. And you'll see why that's important or why that's necessary um, later on. I'll just move me out of the way a little bit down here. Lovely. Um, so here is your um, your presentation. Um, what we want to do is to go to present up here uh, and go to present view. And what Pre present view does is it gives you this, but it also provides you with the notes. Now, currently, I can't see the notes um, because they're behind this massive slide. I can zip through this. This is a, a presentation I shoved together uh, for this purpose. But it's it's not. I can't see my slides. And if I share this screen. My candidates will see this screen, but I won't be able to read my notes, which sometimes is very important, particularly if it's a new presentation not familiar with or it's got lots of stats on it. So if you give it a right click in the middle and you want to go to exit full screen. So here's your exit full screen button. And there are your notes, which is um, what you want to be seeing. And you can start scrolling through that and you'll see that it changes. So we are now going to go back to Zoom. Just need to uh, move this out of the way to get to my I know it's here, isn't it? Let's just expand that. Right, so I'm going to go to the share screen button. And what I'm going to share now is this untitled presentation over here, which is the um, the, the browser page with the slides on. So if give that a little click and hit the share button. Now, what you will see on the screen once it's caught up with me is now you are seeing um, the screen, but it's not ideal. It's, it's, it's not very big. It's not great. So what we want to do is to maximize this screen again. So come up to the top here and maximize it. So now you will see a much bigger screen. The thing you cannot get rid of, and I have not found a way to get rid of with this particular method, is the browser bar at the top. You'll see on the second recording that you can actually, that's why I said hide your bookmarks bar. To be honest, you know, get rid of the bookmarks bar because it gives more space. And also if you know, people don't know that you like Amazon or that you signed up to particular websites. Um, you can't get rid of this little bit up here at the top. If I just move my share bar out of the way and pop it down here, um, you can't get rid of this. This is the best solution I've got. I haven't been able to find a way of doing this on a single screen um, without having this here. I'm going to move this back up to the top. And then all you need to do is to hover yourself over the, the Google button down here, your Chrome button. So make sure you've got that as a, um, uh, a favourite. It's pinned to the start bar. And then grab your presenter view. Now, what I've got is my notes, which I can click through and you will hopefully see um, that represented on the second screen, very slight delay going on, but they can't see the notes, I can see my notes. And if for any reason you kind of click off and lose them, you just come back down to this bar here, give it a click and grab that back again. So this is the best solution I can come up with of being able to use a single screen to share um, 
Google Slides. If you're using one of the organizations I work with um, exclusively uses Google Slides. It's not my preferred option. I find PowerPoint much more flexible. But the great thing about Google Slides is it's is free to access for anyone and it is a good uh, method. Uh, and if you've got a second screen, there is there is no issue with this at all. It's very simple. You have your slides on the second screen, your notes on your main screen and away you go. It's, it's nice and simple. But if you don't have that second screen and the second screen isn't in your budget, um, this is a workable solution but like i said unfortunately you will get to see this bar at the top here all your candidates your attendees will get to see that bar at the top it's not a deal breaker but it's not as attractive or as i don't know professional perhaps looking as having a full screen um what i will do though is there is um i use a second screen but my second screen is a little five inch um led screen that cost me 30 pounds um so i put a video together about that which I will I will link to this video in a little card um, or a screen that will pop up if you're watching this on YouTube if you're watching this on LinkedIn um, I'll put a couple of links uh, in the bottom including the one on how to do this with PowerPoint as well now this is on a Windows laptop I'm afraid I have no idea how to do this as far as a Mac is concerned I don't use um, Apple products so um, by all means if you figure this out for yourself then you know <laughs> share in the notes or in the comments or a video of your own on how you managed it um, but that is a simple way of doing it. I'll run through it very quickly again very quickly what we want to do is to grab this slide open it up hit present a view and this will now go to full screen you can either hit F11 if you want to go uh, to get rid of full screen but you can right click you can see that better here exit full screen Okay, now we go back to Zoom, go to Share Screen, we share this one. We then maximize the screen again, hover over our Chrome button at the bottom of our, our, um, our Start Bar, hit your Presenter Notes, and away we go. So an imperfect solution, but so far the best solution I can find as to how to share um, uh, Google Slides uh, with notes on a single screen and your candidates not being able to see the note screen themselves. So I hope that was useful. Thank you very much for watching. Uh, if you have enjoyed it, please give it a thumbs up or give it a share to whomever you think might find it useful. Um, but thanks again. Have a great day. Take care. See you soon.